In the shock of the tournament thus far, World Cup favourites Germany have been bundled out after a 2-0 loss to South Korea last night. Not that too many SBS viewers appeared interested, with just 131,000 soccer fans tuning in for last night's match and very possibly suffering a hangover from the Socceroos' exit from the previous evening. In a quiet night of TV overall, MasterChef 847,000 was the best of the entertainment shows, seeing off Seven's house rules 763,000. Seven again won the night, taking 28.7% audience share. 9 managed 25.7 per CNET, 10 had 20 percent, the ABC 17.2 percent and SBS mustered 8.4 percent. Seven's other highlights included its 6 p.m. news bulletin with 1.05 million, Home and Away had 724,000 and the chase polled 692,000. Nine's News had 974,000 viewers, followed by Aka with 815,000 and Young Sheldon with 582,000. Master Chef aside, Ten's other shows of note were The Project, 533,000, and Instinct, 462,000. For the ABC, Groon had a good night, pulling 727,000. Its 7 p.m. news had 687,000, The Weekly with Charlie Pickering had 522,000 and Julia Zemiro's home delivery, 490,000. Over at the SBS, its best was Robson Green's Australian Adventure with 296,000 which was more than double that of its World Cup coverage. Sign in with LinkedIn 2018 FIFA World Cup Austam People's Choice recognizes the cream of women in Australian media. But fear not, it's fully pasteurized and low-fat. Fundraising Institute Australia not content with hogging the headlines for the past week, APN are back again with even more headline hoggery. Do you only watch Love Island for its clinical pricey of the brain's enophthalmus? If you thought it required a naked Kardashian or a ferret water skiing to hit the billion mark on YouTube, think again. Have you often wondered what's inside the goodie bags taken home by Logie attendees at the end of TV's Night of Nights? Well, a few very sad people aside, we are quite certain most normal people haven't even given it a moment's thought. But with TV's gala event on this Sunday night up the Goldie, it's now been, tech behemoth Google has introduced a rebranded and refreshed set of advertising and marketing solutions ahead of its Google Marketing Live event in July. Google now has three advertising products designed to help advertisers and publishers of all shapes and sizes, Google Ads, Google Marketing Platform, and Google Ad Manager. The change means the company, TV personality and comedian Tom Gleason has begun campaigning for Grant Denyer to win the Gold Logie at Sunday's award show. Denyer has been nominated for hosting the recently axed Family Feud, and Gleason is now determined to have him win gold for a show no longer on air. The Gold Logie is awarded to the most popular personality on Australian. News.com.au has unveiled its cheeky outdoor media creative across QMS National Digital Billboard Network as a part of their cross-platform News in Color consumer campaign. In collaboration with Bohemia Group, News.com, O's outdoor campaign sees pop culture and news colorfully collide across QMS iconic large-format digitals in a series of contrasting stories that echo the current. It's been a busy week for APN Outdoor, with the company now renewing its sales agency agreement with commuter technology company XTD Limited for a further three years. Under the agreement, APN will continue to market digital out-of-home (DOOH) content and advertising for distribution onto XTD's digital screen networks in Melbourne and Brisbane, which form, tired ad industry gender cliches have been wonderfully roasted in. A timely new spot by Unilever and UN Women, the ad is part of the Unstereotype Alliance, an initiative by some of the world's biggest advertising and tech players to banish stereotypical portrayals of gender in advertising. In the campaign, actors talk about advertising roles they're often cast in including the omnipresent hapless boutique marketing, events and PR agency Create has announced the addition of three new clients to its roster. Continuing the agency's expertise in the tourism and retail space, Create has been engaged by West Hotel Sydney, the Collins Street Precinct Group, CSPG, and Ted's Cameras. 
the newly finished West Hotel is the first curio collection, Rebel Wilson will be awarded only 12% of the initial defamation payout of $4.7 million from Bauer Media, following a court order at the Court of Appeal on Wednesday. The original figure has been slashed due to Wilson now having to repay $4,183,071.45 Bauer Media, which includes $60,316.45 in interest. According to The Guardian, Wilson did not, U.S. comedy great Jerry Seinfeld has weighed into the ongoing Roseanne Barr saga, suggesting there was no reason for her to be fired from her eponymous sitcom as there's no need to murder someone that's committing suicide. Seinfeld told USA Today that he believed Barr's career was long over and her very public axing was an overreaction. I don't even know. In his latest column for B. According to the Oxford Dictionary, content means, HubSpot APAC marketing director James Gilbert has spruiked Facebook Messenger as the next frontier for marketers during HubSpot's annual Grow with HubSpot inbound marketing and sales masterclass. According to Gilbert, messaging apps are set to be the way of the future with the big four apps attracting over 4 billion users monthly. So, what's caused this popularity? For independent e-commerce digital marketing agency Search Insights has been acquired by a private Melbourne-based holding group of companies in the digital solutions space, 121 Group. Financial terms of the deal have not been released but will give Search Insights well over and above a seven-figure valuation. The private company network says the move, by Charlie Murdoch, marketing director, News Media Works. This week's abject failure by Optus Sport to deliver on a promise to sporty news may sound like a website for people who enjoy rave music but, as you'll discover here, it's anything but. Love Island, Family Feud B Or, the Nestle business, when B Is this more proof that everything will soon be owned by three companies? Ever wondered about Rupert's own personal wealth? Well, it's all revealed here and, yes, it's terrifyingly depressing. Contrary to the article above, it appears the national broadcaster isn't as straighty 180 as it would have us believe. If there's any good to come out of the Socceroos' shattering exit, it's that few of us probably know any Peruvians. It's a case of, sofa so good, over at Bohemia and M. Global Customer Relationship Management CRM, brand Sugarcrum has consolidated its digital marketing on creative duties and appointed J-Wing Australia to manage its business in key markets around the world, following a multi-agency competitive pitch. J-Wing Australia previously managed paid search and creative for Sugarcrum in APAC, leading to J-Wing in the UK managing paid search. Facebook Australia has unveiled a new campaign that could have only been bettered by Mark Zuckerberg singing, Jolene. Are you the person in the office that lows when colleagues bring in their dogs, kids, grandparents? You're exempt here. Does talk of programmatic make your head wobble? Well, this handy read is akin to wearing an ill-fitting neck brace. It's only Wednesday. Interbrand has a new MD. Although, let's be honest, that's not out of the ordinary. We adore a red rooster here at B. We're come see come see on the chicken. One need only watch Gardening Australia's manure and mulching advice to know of Auntie's dedication to the truth. Australians distrust social media more than any other media category, a new survey has revealed. Roy Morgan's The Media Netrust Score survey has revealed that social media is deeply distrusted with almost half of all Australians, 47% distrusting social media, compared to only 4% who distrust magazines, as an example. Young Australians distrust social media, in this guest post, Hogarth Australia CEO, Justin Ricketts, pictured below, says agencies might be adjusting to this era of content overload but, he argues, the actual production process is failing to keep pace. Most advertisers are clear that digital has changed everything. While the advertising industry is adapting, the world of advertising production hasn't always evolved at the same, it's all the Aussie winners from this year's can. 
Enjoy sans any tedious acceptance speeches or infernal bragging. News Corp Australia's News Imp has launched a children's panadol campaign from parenting site kidspot.com.au in collaboration with GSK Australia and PhD. Focused on first-time mums, First Timers is a custom content initiative featuring multiple campaign touchpoints uniquely designed to connect with first-time mums. One of these was a live event held at Westfield Paramat last week. The live event featured a It's All News Corp's latest staff changes condensed into this definitive single article that's light on the definitive. The indomitable Adam Ferrier drops by B. Algorithms replace octopuses in picking World Cup winners, as you'll discover when you get your tentacles around this. The ABC has rebranded its international TV service to strengthen the impact of distinctive Australian content for audiences across the Asia-Pacific region. From the 1st of July, the Australia Plus channel, formerly known as Australia Network, will be rebranded ABC Australia to clearly align it with the ABC. The channel will continue to offer Australian news, current affairs, entertainment. You can chalk this up as a win for Havas Melbourne, and add fingernails down the blackboard for some added effects. Australian medical software and information provider Medical Director has selected Hotwire as its PR and communications agency. Hotwire will be required to deliver media relations, corporate profiling, thought leadership, and issues management services in the Australian market for Medical Director. Robin Marchant, head of marketing at Medical Director, said Hotwire was appointed for its experience and expertise in, do you ever yell, my kingdom, for a DOOH campaign verification solution, your verification solution solutions arrive. B. Did you open today's newsletter hoping for an interview with former Estonian PM, Tavi Roivas? As luck would have it. Here's an updated version of the article B. The typical shtick for cruise line ads is handsome people drinking Mai Tais, so this agency needs to be congratulated. Ovio has signed a deal with the Brumbies reportedly free of any horseplay. Well, there may have been. We have no idea. Queensland agency Stead Lane has opened a Brisbane office in what could be described as the cart before the horse. Want to feel inspired without having to wade through another tedious Hillary Clinton book? This is faster and better. We're such horse racing aficionados here at B. Expat Spaniard Juan Garcia has joined White Gray amid hope that he may actually be able to explain soccer's offside rule. Julian Bellal set to make triumphant return to Clems, Melbourne. Not to suggest there'll be trumpets or a sword giving. Plans for a Roseanne free, Roseanne, revealed after Roseanne agreed to no longer play Roseanne. If that makes any sense, Kendall Jenner and Pepsi may have failed to save the world. However, it appears no impediment to Coke's grand plans. Melissa Roberts vows to, boom, boom, shake the room, in new icon role. Yes, take that as yet more B. Here, there. Cosgrove has been on HT. The resignation of Cosgrove comes just after U Media acquired HT. Bowers Women's Glossy Division set for a shakeout. Probably stand by for some self-serving tweets from Rebel, too. Think what you could do with a cool gron. Plumper lips, hair plugs, a 1978 Datsun, or half an Alexander Wong handbag. As Frank Sinatra famously sang in, New York, New York, I did it by way, hang on, I think we may have stuffed that up. Australian News Channel CEO, Angelo Sprangopoulos, has urged Australian advertisers to carefully consider how their media investments impact Australian society. Applauding the ACCC's digital platforms inquiry, Frangopoulos said its outcome would be absolutely critical, not just for Australian media companies, but for Australian culture. This is about Australian stories being told by Australians, he said. This story comes with both sponsorship news. Feel the ecstatic eyes. 
professional networking platform LinkedIn has unveiled a consumer-targeted social campaign featuring Aussie members expressing their own takes on success. The campaign, titled, In It Together, is based on the insight that the traditional notions of success have changed and is no longer defined by securing a corner office or a promotion. A survey conducted by, We Don't Have Any Queensland is in the B. The takeover drums are beating loudly from APN HQ this morning. Think sort of Montego Bay, on the steel drums. Industry body unhappy about SBS, commercialization, amid calls to air more shows absolutely no one wants to watch. Weight Watchers International has launched its first global marketing campaign that celebrates the livability of the WW Your Weight TM program and how it's possible to enjoy the foods, behaviors and occasions tied to the season, while continuing to develop healthy habits. The campaign is part of the company's Season of Impact, and marks two firsts. Kate Orion Roder jumps into the women in media saddle and delivers a cracking, hi-ho silver, to boot. Study says 90% of brands aren't growing. Good news if it's the BMI of staff, bad news if it's to do with profit. Sadly, we bid adieu to Cannes for another year, but not before saying bonjour, to a last story direct from the Riviera. A study has found that men enjoying watching sport. They'll be drinking beer. Keen on your pump and dumps or your fill and kills? Well, this new money program could very possibly excite. It's not one but two consultancy stories today, readers. Not that we consulted with anyone before doing it. Here, a can attendee reflects on his first app experience. Mercifully, not via poetry or a spoken word performance. 9 snares the tennis for summer. Think B. Tourism ad confirms to the world that every Australian's a lovable bogan who loves wrangling crocs in their spare time. 7's mega squillion cricket deal looking a lot more like $8.75 on Australian cricket's current form. Talk about chocks over the weekend. Firstly, MasterChef's morang dessert debacle and then this news. The Daylight Agency's significant growth has continued with the appointment of Shelley Hammond as Director of Agency Operations. Shelley is a leader in the global communications industry and brings vast experience following senior roles in major corporates as well as the agency environment. Shelley will be responsible for the commercial running of Daylight including client retention and host, Havas will be bringing home a Cannes Grand Prix, while staff are asked not to put their greasy mitts all over it. The allegations have been wild since Sir Martin's departure. Slicing onions while reading this will also make it eye-watering. One need only see the thin number of staff at B. It appears no one wants to go to the lodges. Still, it won't be the first time Guy Sebastian performs to an empty room. Australia's outdoor industry is proving hotter than a hedge trim red cash converters at the moment, is it not? Dentsu Aegis has acquired Clipdesk who, despite sounding like a Scandinavian IKEA designer, isn't, apparently. Curated this year by Ridley Scott, famed director of Alien, The Martian and other classics, the new director's showcase at Cannes is now in its 28th year. Acting as a platform for talented new directors to have their work premiered to a global audience, Scott took to the stage in front of a full house.